Hi, my name's Donna. I'm the coordinator of the EP program in Cairns, Townsville and Mount Isa. The EP program is a program to transition Indigenous students from school to work in the health industry. Many, many different roles in the health industry. It doesn't just consist of doctors and nurses. We've got allied health, food attendants, wardsmen, technicians, dental, physio, many different positions for students to, to have a look at. And not only do we say to the students, you know, this is available at the moment, that one thing may lead to another. For example, we've I've had a group of students come in today who may be interested in health and may be interested in joining the health service as a nurse, but may decide in a year or two that that wasn't for them and they can use their skills towards something else. We target the kids that are studying Certificate 2 in Health. From there, we look at putting students into traineeships, work experience. We look at workshops that we can possibly help them out with making informed decisions about what they do when they leave school. So today, years 10, 11 and 12 attended Townsville Hospital to explore different positions uh, available to them when they finish school. Lucky enough to have the support from Queensland Ambulance who have come along and talked to the students about different options in how to join the service. The kids today have come across from the Ronald McDonald House. They first they got to the hospital and it was a, an ambulance careers workshop where they got to look through the ambulance and have a look at the equipment. We then came over to the hospital to the Betty Link building where they were able to yarn with Indigenous staff about different positions within the hospital and then they were able to do a tour of the hospital and look at what's available. The future of the Yiffy project looks very strong. At the moment, the health industry is screening for Indigenous employees, so it's about promoting those opportunities to students, giving them the information they need to be able to uh, make choices in regards to career paths. Yeah, we've put many students into work experience and traineeships this year, and one story that warms my heart would have to be the Jared, the Jared and College girls who attended the Yarrabah Health Clinic. Three girls who were disengaged from school, currently studying a certificate two in health, wanted to look at opportunities in a health position. So we were able to find them work experience at the Yarrabah Health Clinic, assisting in nursing. And when I went to visit the three students um, doing this placement, smiles from ear to ear, they enjoyed their placement, they were comfortable, the Indigenous staff ensured they were safe. All three students were offered a traineeship at the end of the experience, which is absolutely wonderful. My job's very rewarding. I think they give as much to me as I give to them. And, you know, I'm a mother of three, but really, <laughs> and I say this to everybody, I'm a mother of three, but really I have hundreds of children because I take so much pride in seeing them succeed in what they want to succeed in. Anything's possible. We've all got strengths and skills. And when you look deep inside and see what you've got and put that into practice, it's amazing what you can do.